What's going on guys, it's Kyle here tonight getting ready to compete in the NASCAR iRacing National Series at USA International Speedway. The final race of the week here, about ready to take place, the 7.45 p.m. EDT race. 50 laps around USA International Speedway. Um, I have done four previous races this week. I have finished 3rd, 4th, 2nd, and I wrecked out. Well, I was wrecked in the 4th race. I didn't actually um, drop out of the race because of it, but I was uh, involved in an accident. Uh, this is my 5th race of the week, 5th and final, as this is the very last race of the week for the series, for everything. Starting 3rd, my qualifying time for the week was a 29 point, or a 21, excuse me, 21.926. Mine was a little low. And my speaker fell. Do not do this at home, kids. My volume is now actually maxed out. And that would be. I messed with the volume. Uh, my computer, so that's why it's a little low. But should be decent for the viewing pleasure as long as I stop blinking right here. Okay, yeah. We had decent sound, should be alright for the video. If not, I can boost it up a little bit. So here we go. Getting ready to take the green for the final race of the week. Ooh. Oh my gosh. The guy behind me just took out the whole field. Wow. I just happened to glance up in the mirror and see him coming up on the rear end of me. Barely missed my rear end and then he goes and takes out the guy to my outside and everybody else behind him and around him. I also did forget to take my socks off for this race. I know we don't race with socks on. I normally race barefoot. So, but it doesn't seem to be hurting me right now. Didn't mention at the start. Um, car number six for this race. Fairly decent field. There's a guy in front of me, he's car 16. So if we stay right where we're at, it should be a decent I rating game.
staying pretty even with the guy in front of me. I'm pulling away a little bit from the guys behind me. One car is running away from us, but the 16 and I were fairly even. He might be a little bit better than me right now. But we uh, still got a decent amount of race left here. Let's see if maybe I can't reel him in or get some lap traffic to help out. And that leopard did not give me very much room. Kind of had to shove it in underneath of him. I made quicker work of him than the 16 did, but he's still a little ways out in front of me. Only about a second out in front of me, but still, uh, And my gap is slowly increasing on 4th. So it looks like as long as things continue on the path that they are, I'm going to have a 3rd place at the worst. But I would really, really, really like to try to catch up and race with the 16. be nice to try to finish in 2nd place. Both of those are uh, pretty even right here, so it's hard to uh, to catch him. Got to try to have lab traffic help me a little bit or see if he makes some mistakes. I'm uh, getting out of both of our ways.
I'm a very, very big fan of this car track combination for those of you who have um, been following my previous races on my Facebook page. This is a combination that I very thoroughly enjoy. It has proven to be so in my results on my way to my fourth top five of the week out of five races. Probably would have had five top fives if I didn't get wrecked by that lapped car in the, pr the most previous race I've done in the series. I did that race uh, Thursday night, it was. And it is Monday night of the end of the week now. I have stayed, I've noticed, stayed at a consistent 9 tenths of a second behind this 16 car. Haven't really gained on him, I haven't lost, I've stayed right where I'm at. Little sideways. He hasn't really pulled away from me either, so... That's pretty nice, honestly. Alright man, plenty to go. Go get him. Push it. Oh, we got a car spinning down in the infield here. started to lose a little bit of ground in the 16. I didn't really think I was going to have anything to uh, be able to catch up and pass him unless I had some luck come my way. But Oh, got a spinner in front of me. I 
should have listened to my spotter and went low, but decided to go high instead. And... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that killed my, uh, my gap to fourth. It's weird that I thought that that was going to happen. So now I have four incidents to a perfectly clean run race, and cars all over my rear view. That was an absolutely ridiculous move by the 18. Just drove right into the back of me. I mean, I cleared him and I came up in front of him at the beginning of the straightaway just outside of the turn. There was no need for him to... Uh, Slam into the back of me. He had the whole straightaway. At the new fourth place car. Looks like he might be closing on in me here, so I've got to start running smooth, hold him off here for these final three laps. He is right on my tail. I gotta get off these turns good and try to pre prevent myself from getting dive bombed. I think we got him, yes we do. Third place. And the 18 car left before I could say anything to him.
it was uh, a very ridiculous and very uncalled for the race is over. move on his part. There was no need for him to run into the back of me, but you know, that's just eye racing. I guess some people are bad. <laughs> So I'll take a look at that real quick, and then I will take a look at that big wreck at the start of the race. I was clear by a mile. And I had plenty of Time, plenty of time and plenty of room to move up in front of him and he just decided to drive it into the, the turn deep and, and run into the back of me and there's nothing more to it I mean, I'm really curious to see when he even starts slowing down because it doesn't even look like he slows down He doesn't really start even slowing down for the turn until he knows he's going to run into the back of me. Oh, yeah. Even by listening onto his onboard, you can tell he just he drives flat into me. Doesn't even slow down, just drives right into my ass. Ridiculous move on his part there, but I want to look at this lap one accident. I'm going to go off the 10 here because I know he got taken out in it. Oh yeah, the 4 just slammed it into the back of the 8. Pushed the 8 into the 10 and then everybody just started crashing and flipping. That two car got up in the air. He didn't flip, but oh, and then he comes. Up. Oh wow, what? Oh. So he's bouncing around, and then he just turns and drives it right into the 14. That wasn't a really smart move on his part either. No, oh, and then they rub a little bit. Can't say I blame the 14 on that one. That was a uh, a very sad move on the two cars part. Just drove right down into uh, into him. So that'll do it here for this race, the final NASCAR iRacing National Series race at USA International Speedway for Week Seven. Uh, we finished in third, so not a bad finish. Got four unnecessary incidents after getting run over by a lap car. Um, that happens, I guess, but. Not uh, not cool at all. Definitely not cool. He had more than enough time to slow down for me. He realized, you know, I was there. I had plenty of room to come up in front of him. Just uh, just a situation that happened. So um, on that note, we will sign off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you tune in for the the next video that I post. So thank you again, and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.